Hello, how are you? My name is Alejandro Sandoval, and this is the Solo Negocios video blog with the summary of the Solo Negocios Bulletin for today, June 20th, 2018. And well, we're going to talk about the Mexican peso again, but along with the information around the monetary policy that is taking place and is the maybe strongest element in the volatility set that we account for and for which uh, we are making measures and analysis every day. Today, the peso was appreciated given the high probability that Banco de Mexico will decide tomorrow an increase on the rate, which will increase the spread between the Mexican rate and the US rate and uh, give some cushion for the allowance of the prime, this is the spread, uh, to be able to bring back some US dollars to diminish the impact on the depreci depreciation the Mexican peso has had si since April at least. Also, there was information given NAFTA, uh, both Wilbur Bros, uh, Minister of the Economy in the US, and uh, Luis Videgaray, Minister of Foreign Relationships in Mexico, stated in different uh, conferences that it's highly probable that they will re reinitiate negotiations over NAFTA in July, so it brought back some, uh, let's say, uh, expectations that this will end positively. And they're talking about July because we have our presidential election in July the 1st. So after that, we will have potentially the uh, initiations of this or reinitiations of these negotiations. Also, the Bloomberg Dollar Spot Index went down 0.04%, just a little bit, when yesterday, for example, it went up 0.25%. But anyways, it was due to this uh, whole scenario of uh, purchase opportunities that for example, stock exchanges that went down yesterday, basically in Asia, uh, brought back some resources. Also, Argentina got a credit line for the International Monetary Fund for $50 uh, billion, dollars, and this will help their economy. So basically, we're seeing some um, contrary movements to the actual trade war uh, results and also to the normalization of different central banks. USA had indicators positive indicators that will allow to think that the central bank in the US, the Fed, will keep rising its rate faster than it was expected before. Uh, sales use homes went down 0.4% in May, in May uh, below the 1.1% increase that was expected. Even when this is a negative result, the rest of the indicators are showing up uh, the, the strength of the US economy. Me, uh, oil went mixed, uh, West Texas Intermediate increased due to the decrease of inventories in the US. Also, the expectations that the OPEC uh, organization will increase its um, production after Saturday's resolution, this following Saturday. And we'll, we'll have to see what happens. Uh, Brent from Europe and um, when that, that one went down, and uh, West Texas Intermediate, along with the uh, Mexican mix and the OPEC mix, went up. Trade war uh, could react, could activate the currency wars. In terms of the trade war, one of the problems is that maybe tariffs imposed to the U.S. as retaliation is not enough, or cannot be in greater than whatever it's trying every country to retaliate with so they could begin manipulating uh, their exchange rates. So that, that's a, a, an issue because the U.S. could uh, get as a result a, a different position of what they expected. I mean, with these tariffs, they're going to impose or try to rebalance their um, deficit in commercial terms or in trade terms. But with a strong U.S. dollar and a weak exchange rate of any country, making uh, trade deals with the U.S., well, obviously, it will be cheaper for that country to take their exports to the U.S., make them imports in the perspective of the U.S., and make more expensive U.S. exports to the rest of the world. So it's not necessarily the best way to, to keep going in, in U.S. terms. Support for the Mexican peso, 20 pesos with 20 cents uh, per dollar, and resistance, 21 pesos per dollar in the wholesale market. The spread in banking, uh, in regular banks in Mexico, went up one cent to 1.14 cents. It's increasing. Uh, could be taken into account tomorrow with Banco de Mexico. We will see what happens. Futures for December, given that it's been appreciated, the, the currency, then uh, right now we have uh, futures for the Mexican peso of uh, an appreciation of 0.86%, 220 pesos with 96 
44 pesos per dollar in December 2018, which implies getting down from the 21 pesos per dollar threshold. And in monetary terms, basically what we can say is that for A, the Mexican uh, results or, or balance of statement is showing for last week that we have, even when we lost a little bit on the, uh, the International Reserve, there, it is strong in $173 billion. And monetary base is congruent with seasonal patterns, so it's not bringing inflationary problems. Uh, in terms of the Fed, um, Rafael Bostic from the Atlanta Fed stated that the U.S. economy is keeping uh, in, in good shape. So if he sees that it's still going up, he will be supporting increases in the rate. And Mario Draghi from the European Central Bank exposes that there is patience uh, in the gradualism on rates, that they already have a date to begin ending the bond purchases and won't, won't have rates changed until June 9, 2019. But he's uh, preoccupied given the situation around the trade war that could, brought, uh, could bring inflation to Europe. Thank you very much for your attention. We'll keep in touch and talk to you tomorrow.